Mr. Secretary, um, we have bifacial solar panels, we have liquid desiccant waterfalls, we have New Zealand brings a drying cupboard here, we've got this uh, big wrap of insulation from Caltech. Mm -hmm. What's the innovation that you've seen here that most captures your imagination? Well, I've seen a number of things. Uh, I've seen things where, to take the moisture out of the air, you use something, uh, a lithium salt, that is absorbed, and then you use the solar heat to absorb that. Uh, because in air conditioning, most of the energy used in air conditioning is actually to take the moisture out of the air. Very, very clever stuff. I've seen things where all the water, the rainwater, the roof water, can get recycled. The gray water from a shower or a sink can then using uh, nature's principles of plants and soils and microbes to actually begin to purify the water so that gray water becomes water you can certainly use for irrigation or if you put it into the sewer system, it's, it's a much larger load to the sewer system. So these are all examples of this great innovation. As Secretary of Energy, what could be most applicable in the real world? Um, I think, I would say it's the blocking tackling of a home. And what do I mean by that is, that they're using very sensible ways of designing the home so the hot summer sun doesn't beat into the house, that you have very energy efficient windows, tremendous insulation. Insulation is the cheapest thing you can do that would pay for itself within one or two years. I saw these amazing triple glazed windows right. over there, and right. here they wrap the insulation on right. the outside of the building. Right. But the R values of some of these homes, this I think is R47, there's R's that go up to 50, that R value, you know, a typical home you might have an R value of six, of eight. Okay, this essentially is proportional to the amount of heat that comes out of a house. And the windows are another big thing. There's triple pane windows, there are coatings on the windows that reflect infrared light. So that means you can have an open window in the winter time, where if it's really cold outside, normally if you're sit standing next to a big window, and there's, you feel cold. Because you're radiating all your heat out on the outside, nothing's coming back at you. These infrared coated windows reflect the body heat and it looks like a warm wall. Some of the R values of these windows are fantastic. They are the R value of, of most walls in standard homes in the United States or higher. As a scientist, what excites you most about this? The fact that you have young creative people who are looking around and looking at all the technology available and combining them tweaking them and improving them in a, in a system unit. Have you seen scientific breakthroughs or discoveries here? Well, that's a little harder. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've seen, uh, when you're doing a home, you, are, you, you have to use technologies that either you can buy or you can tweak a little. And so, for example, I've seen instances where you, they've taken technologies that have been, have been recently developed for commercial scale and say, can we work, downsize it and make it apply to be cost effective in a home? Uh, you don't really expect to see people inventing a new insulating material or a new LED because that's a little bit beyond uh, you know, these projects. But what you can do, and this is what most building industries don't do, is that there are so many available technologies that are ready to be used. They have been developed. They're not in the homes mills. They can dramatically make your home more livable, more comfortable, more affordable. Taxpayers would ask this question. Uh, NASA, the space flights, brought technology to Earth. Mm -hmm. Brilliant new technology, communication, solar as a matter mm -hmm. of fact. DARPA brought new technologies to everybody's right. computer. Right. What new technology will this, or have previous decathlons, brought to energy and home ownership? Sure. I think it, that comes in some of the very innovative ways of using existing technology. Using ways, for example, one uh, home I saw, very, very inexpensive, Technology, you can, it's a little magnetic thing, you slip around the wire. Right. If you have a circuit breaker, it might have 24 circuits coming out. Yeah. You slip these little things around the wire, it goes to a little box that then talks to a computer. You will know with a very inexpensive thing, $500, right. exactly where your energy is going, what's happening. Did you leave something on? You can know in a control box, You, I, I don't know whether it's hooked up to your iPad or iPhone here, I think it is. So you can actually know when you're not at home, did I leave anything on? You can monitor your energy usage from, from anywhere. anywhere. So that stuff exists, and it's one of those things, in many instances, can pay for itself in a year or two. There's the Caltech home, there's the watershed home, there's Team China, there's all the rest. You've seen a lot of these. Any of these houses you'd live in? Uh, there's a couple. Well, 
uh, it, it, you know, I'm spoiled. I don't think 600 feet <laughs> is quite what I would be Any looking these for. Any technologies you'd live in? Uh, no, there is a number of houses. Uh, when you get to the 1,200 foot scale, you know, for two people, that becomes very, very adequate. Okay, and so when you're at, well, it depends on what you're used to. Uh, maybe when I was a graduate student, 800 feet looked really big. But uh... <laughs> there'll be some undergraduates living in it. Well, you're the Secretary of Energy. You're also a diplomat. So thank you very much. Okay. Appreciate your time. And uh, it's really interesting to yeah, see it is great. The, the students, the young people, the research, the design, the engineering here. Mm -hmm. So I, I hope that spurs more innovation yeah. uh, well beyond yeah. these shores. Well, but the short answer to your question is there are a number of houses that uh, you know, I used to see. Yeah, these are cool houses. This yeah, you want to pick your winner? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's my diplomat part. Right. <laughs> Thanks very much. Okay. It was really interesting speaking to the energy secretary here over my shoulder. You can see all 19 of the homes. He visited most of them. And what he didn't talk about was the cost of doing a lot of the business here. These are prototype technologies, new technologies, experiments that a lot of these students have put together. The real test becomes whether these technologies can have the marketplace to be viable on a large scale. We've got all these teams on planetforward.org. We want you to like the team you think brings the best technology, the most interesting ideas. We will profile them on PBS's nightly business report in October. The winning team gets the profile and gets the hard look. It all happens at planetforward.org. Weigh in.